Hello, and welcome to 5 Minutes About Pulsar. My name is David Diroff. I'm on the streaming team here at Datastax. Today I'm going to be talking about topic partitions. If you don't have a deployment of Pulsar ready to go, you can go to astra.datastax.com slash register streaming and get a free Pulsar instance up and running in under a minute. If you have any questions about my video, you can email us at pulsarquestions at datastax.com. That will reach the streaming team at Datastax. We'd be happy to answer any questions that you might have. All right, to talk about topic partitions, we're going to talk about apples. This is me. I'm picking apples off my tree. My apple tree has 500 apples on it. Some would say it's a bionic tree. I just think it's really lucky. My bucket holds 100 apples. But if I tried to pick up that bucket with 100 apples, I would break my back. What I've found is I can pick up about 75 apples in that bucket. Problem is, with 500 apples, 75 apples per bucket, that means I'm going to be carrying seven times back and forth. And unfortunately, I just don't have the time for that. And it leads to a whole lot of drinking. So if I could have seven buckets, and distribute those apples evenly between the seven buckets. Six of them are going to have 75, I can carry those, and the other one's going to have 50, and I can carry those as well. Now all I need to do is get a couple of friends together and we can make this happen and get these apples picked really fast. So what does this have to do with uh, message topics? So consider a message producer, and that producer is creating 500 messages about apples every second. We've put it on one topic, and that one topic was only given one partition. Now we're going to a Pulsar cluster that has one broker, and that broker has one partition on it, and that broker has been sized for 75 messages per second. Well, when you combine the two up together, this isn't going to end well. 500 messages about apples per second going to one partition on one broker that can only handle 75 messages per second, well, you get where I'm going. You're going to have a lot of backlogging, a lot of uh, instability, that sort of thing, having to resend messages and all that. So what if I were to scale the cluster? And let's say we were to give it seven brokers, but we still had that one partition. Well, that's not really going to help me. Because as far as Pulsar is concerned, only one broker owns that partition because it's only one, I'm sorry, owns the topic because it's only one partition. All right. So this really isn't going to help me a whole lot and I'm still going to be in uh, quite a world of pain. Aha. But what if we change the topic to have seven partitions and that's because we have seven brokers? Well, now... Uh, each Pulsar is going to give each broker one of the partitions. It's going to distribute them evenly through the brokers, much like my seven baskets of apples being distributed evenly. And now each broker is going to be a part of uh, messaging for uh, all of my Apple messages. Great! So now I have 500 messages about apples per second over one topic, but that topic has been configured with seven partitions. Pulsar, when the topic was created, automatically distributed the partitions evenly between all the brokers. Uh, that was in a, a round robin kind of fashion. And now, as the messages come in, Pulsar is going to take care of distributing those messages throughout all the different brokers. And when my friends come in and say, we want to read the messages about all your apples, they don't need to worry about what partitions they're coming from. They just simply subscribe to the topic and start reading. I hope you found my partitions example fun and helpful. If you did, please click the like button. That will make it easier for others to find the video and grow the Pulsar community. If you have any questions or feedback, you can leave a comment below or email us at pulsarquestions at datastacks.com. That will go directly to the Pulsar team here at Datastacks. Thank you.